I was taught to always have a handkerchief in the pocket of my jacket. My father taught me that. I'm sure that his father taught him. He had the most impeccable taste. And it was unusual taste, and it was a little bit flamboyant. He was the boyfriend of the most glamorous women, and everybody loved Nikki. But somewhere, Nikki was not connected to that very glamorous life. He did not buy into it. I thought I would be a photographer. From the age of 13, had this passion for photography that nothing else really seemed to take me away from. If somebody wrote a screenplay about the grandson of Deanna Vreeland becoming a Buddhist and saying no to all artifice, all fluffy surface, I think somebody might read it and say, this is too obvious. And yet that's what happened. This is um, Fakirappa. Fakirappa is the person from whom we bought the land on which we are building the monastery. Nikki was very, very stressed. He felt caught in a situation where no one anticipated that the economy was going to tank, and no one anticipated that people who'd made pledges were not going to be able to respect their pledges. He was very elegant about it, but also fearless of going to people and saying, look, I need help. And it wasn't for him. It was to save these people. It was uh, pretty singular, maybe totally singular in the Tibetan community. I kept trying to give it up. I kept trying to uh, not have it be part of my life. And interestingly, it was the fact that I continued to take pictures that enabled the monastery to be built. Look here. And it's a slow exposure. And why are we going to do another without any smile? 